All right, we are back. More Goo TV presents Streaming the Insanity, XCOM, Enemy Within, uh, Virgin Series. Virgin Series meaning that it is my first look at this game. Played a lot of Enemy Unknown, but Enemy Within is still very much so new. This is going to be our third episode. Uh, we just came back from a successful mission. We have not lost anybody yet. We have not... Uh, missed any meld yet, so things are looking really good from that standpoint. I did have some stuff to sell, so we'll take care of that right now. These uh, damaged, uh, this damaged flight computer and power source, absolutely worthless for anything other than uh, attaining money, which is totally okay by me. Let's we'll take a quick look and see where our research is. We're five minutes away from our weapon fragments. Um, take a look at our facilities. This is what we got going on right now. Excavating this so we can get another power up and ready to go. Satellite uplink is still engineers and money away. Uh, I think actually we might make the decision to go towards cybernetics uh, at this point in time um, because I believe based on the date it is too far uh, yeah it's too far along in the month to worry about getting another satellite at this point in time we don't know what sort of money we're going to get so we will definitely uh we will definitely uh see if we can uh progress down this new content oh i'm giddy giddy uh so yeah we'll build our cybernetics lab here yeah, I definitely want. I, I definitely want to play around with the mechanized exoskeletal cyber suits or mechs. Yeah, that sounds totally fantastic to me. So, I, I want to see that. So it's going to cost us twenty bucks a month, which is a, a little unfortunate. Actually, is that where we wanted it? Yeah, I think we do want it right there. I want to keep these open for satellites, obviously, uh, for for satellite uplinks, and then um, this is likely going to be my power area over here. So. We can do workshop stuff right here. Why not? Oh, boy. Cybernetics. Very exciting. So we're going to build that, and that'll be some new content we can consume. Uh, take a look at our soldiers. Looks like, uh, well, we might get Summer Glau back in time, but otherwise uh, we're kind of hamstrung into who we can take on the next mission. Um, and we do not have our satellite available yet. So, when does that do? Ten days. So, uh, but I didn't actually see. Nobody's in the red, uh, but we might hold on to that satellite until uh, someone is. Or we can use it to reduce China, potentially. Uh, Asia is not, not a big target for me. I don't know. We might just let China go. But it's hard to say at this point in time. Right now, we're just going to scan for some more activity. We might get uh, weapon fragments done in time. Nope. Does not look like it, but we did get back a couple of our uh, key members here. Commander, so we'll have a little bit of a better choice. Via the I've got the in. Let's see what our rewards are, because that's what we're really concerned with. Scientists, money, or a uh, new support. You know, I, I'm not a huge fan of the new recruit stuff. It is not a bad way to rebuild... Uh, a uh, you know dwindling squad, but we obviously haven't had that problem. So I think our choice, well, <laughs> well, that would let North America go too, because that's going to increase the panic up there uh, for not only for Canada but anything else in North America. Uh, and hold on one second, I'm going to have to pause. I will edit this out. Okay, I terribly apologize for that. My mistake. Uh, so what were we doing here? Okay, we were d determining where to go for abductions. Canada might be required for panic's sake, I think was was the uh, concept that I was going with. Uh, however, the 200 credits is largely more useful. Um, so I guess, and I, and I, to be on, oh, wait, was that South America or South Africa? South Africa. Okay. So that that is a location that is much less important from a panic standpoint. Let's take a look at our panic up here. Yeah, see, I think if I ignore Canada there, I think that increases not only Canada's, but the United States and Mexico uh, as all, all as part of being in the same continent. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to be forced into going to Canada on this one, which is a little unfortunate, but... Who knows, maybe this new support will be 
you know, exactly what the doctor ordered. Maybe I can sell him. Is that possible? So, we'll save our friends up in, uh, up in, uh, Canada. So we got two support units here. I don't think that's necessarily our best, uh, best course of action so we'll lay off summer glow oh we're gonna have an overabundance of support at the end of this uh and we will bring on jewel state as our assault instead i think that makes a, l a lot more sense um just to have a well balanced well balanced outfit right now yeah it's so, okay i'm gonna walk into the mission with that and see what this game throws at us in terms of curveballs. Obviously, like I said in previous videos, we're prioritizing meld, uh, but not at the uh, you know expense of our, not at the expense of our troops. So we will see what happens as a result of this. Thanks. The drop site for this operation. It's in Canada. Just in case you didn't know where Toronto uh, was. Uh, and, and I'm sorry for the pause in commentary. It, I'm going to have to actually pause this again. Boy, I have a, a bunch of external things getting in the way of this. I apologize for that. So, again, I'll edit this out. All right. I terribly apologize for that. Uh, that's outside the realm of my control. Um, so, okay, so this looks like it's going to be a relatively long and narrow path with this big building in the middle. So, uh, yeah, we'll move down that path first. Inara seems like a, as good a candidate as any uh, to take a peek inside this, uh, what looks like garage, I guess. What a nice little uh, concept for a map. That's, that's nice, I like that a lot. Uh, sniper we're gonna hold off on a minute, and of course, uh, Shepherd is going to so we'll move up here. Oh, okay. So we got our meld that's acquirable right off the bat. Good to see. Um, we got four turns to get there. So I guess we're going to... I don't really want to dash, but... Okay, turned out all right. Um, in that case, we'll actually move... This unit up as well, Inara. Move her up a tiny bit. And uh, you can go on Overwatch. And then our sniper, we want to get in a position to take a shot on the next turn, uh, if at all possible. So I guess we'll just bring him up here. And then, why not? Hunker down. Okay, so we got our first contact here. They're going to dis distract from the meld. Um, and yeah, I, I don't think it's going to get any better than this, so screw you guys. Oh, we picked off, an, uh, picked off three of them with that. It looks like we got our fourth right here. Um, I don't know. So nothing out of our sniper. That's a little unfortunate. Um, Ron Glass. Boy, I don't want to overcommit to that, so... Moving out. Move up over here. And where is... Yep, that is that unit. Only 1% chance of hitting, which is obviously not a particularly good one. <laughs> so we might let that go. Um... I feel like you're gonna be safe moving over here and I really want that meld, so let's give it a shot, see what happens. Hopefully we don't discover anyone else. Alright, that worked out really well. And then I think actually I, I, what's the chances that you would come in my line of sight? Probably not particularly good, but I'll give it a shot anyway. Uh and then uh no point on the run and gun from here, so I guess we'll just do an overwatch. See if they move to uh, move to attack. I would love it if you. Oh no, backing up. Who's taking the shot? Sniper? No. I'm sorry. That is uh, uh, Jewel State or Kaylee. Uh, 
that's kind of annoying. So we're going to have to deal with that momentarily, but... Oh, there's the second meld canister. Actually, we might just have to... Uh... Oh, we got eight to collect that. That's fantastic. Uh... So we got that one all taken care of, all locked up. Uh, we're actually going to move our sniper way over here uh, to position for if that guy decides to come fight us. And then we are going to basically, I think, just shift down this way. Make them come after us because we, we really want that meld canister. And hopefully they'll uh, enable us to get that. Sorry, slightly distracted. Okay, so we got uh, some more noise, it, it looks like. Okay, we're going to see some new guys here. But these ought, most definitely should be, uh, yeah, reaction shots out of, oh, that's fantastic. And then maybe we'll get lucky enough to have another one. Oh, and we are going to have some more sectoids to deal with. But good old uh, Shepherd Book has a chance to pick one off. Obviously fails miserably. Um, but, man, some, th most of these guys should be, I should at least be able to fire on them. So I don't have the ability to use, well, first off, first is first. Ah, our sniper doesn't have a shot. That's largely unfortunate. Um, I don't, th I'm not going to be able to get into a flanking position, I don't think. So then the next option is what sort of position can I get in? Actually, we could come up here and probably pitch a grenade at at least one of those guys. So we'll do that. And this is obviously a better location uh, from, a, uh, from a cover standpoint. And we'll do this to pop open a hole. And kill. I, I will obviously kill. Um... And boy, I don't know. We can't forget about that one way off on the left. Uh, that could pose a problem. Unless I'm just... Oh boy, there does not seem to be an opportune cover position for uh, Anara at all. And, of course, Alan, um, otherwise known as Wash, he... Where, where can he come? I don't think he can get quite close enough to pitch a grenade properly to make this work. Uh, I wonder what if Anara can get close enough for a grenade on that other one. Boy, I don't know. I don't know. Um... And yeah, we're going to move up our sniper. Oh, who also has a grenade. I didn't even consider my sniper to have a grenade. Uh, and of course, not going to realistically have any shot at this. I don't want it to be on top. I want you to pitch it inside. That's, that's kind of a weird uh, little sphere there. I don't want it on top. I want it inside. Is that not possible? It's probably not possible. Uh, so, okay. So, then from here, what is your shot on this feller? 35%. Can I pitch a grenade and hit this guy? No, I can't destroy the meld, which should be explosive, but I don't particularly want to do that either. So, um... Yeah, I don't really like your chances, uh, Wash, so why don't you hunker down, I guess. Um, this is kind of overcommitting, but uh, who knows? Okay, so we can see the one in there now. Uh, what happens if we try and take a shot? Not a particularly good shot. What happens if we pitch a grenade? We can. Okay, so we can throw a grenade through a door, just not a wall. Uh, I'm eerily okay with that. Incoming. That works. Not a great position for him to be in, but what can you do? That is dashing. So let's 
progress forward to the full cover. That will enable us to take a shot. It's only 30%, but it's better than nothing, so we'll take it. Maybe we'll get lucky. Holy cow. I actually managed to hit, but only for two damage, so that's not particularly good. If I had overwatched with my with my sniper, he would have gotten a shot there. Uh, just don't panic. All right, fantastic. Uh, and yeah, we're going to make this considerably easier, I think. Will this be in cover? Yes, but it will not be flanking, so I guess we're going to have to come all the way out here. And then a big shotgun blast to the face. 98%. I better hit. Way to go, Kaylee. Nicely played. And I don't like the fact that she is out in the middle. Okay, i got to get control of the map again. Figure out where the hell I'm going. Uh, I don't like that she's out in the middle, but what can you do? Um, and then Overwatch are heavy here. I think, I have to imagine that that one, uh, one sectoid is the only one left, uh, but I guess I don't know for sure. So we are going to kind of prep ourselves at least in that direction. Um, taking overwatch with our sniper. Things blowing up. Grenades and buildings are not good friends, uh, if you did not know. This is an opportunity to get our meld. So we got all the meld on the board. I think it makes sense to reload for this uh, particular choice. You're going to just hang out on Overwatch there. And now we're going to switch into slow and methodical mode. Well, not entirely slow, but, you know, slower at least. Uh, take an opportunity to reload. Um, I think actually we're going to come back over here in the attempts that... If we can get that sucker to run, we could overwatch him. Yeah, we I'm pretty much already knew he was back there. So now we'll cover our bases this way. Uh, and overwatch from there, just in case he decides to come in that way. Uh, come over here and overwatch. And then, yeah, you will definitely overwatch from there. And then use this as an opportunity to... Uh, pull Kaylee back in with the rest of the group. Um, see what happens. You're going to show me that the person's off in that direction again? No. But we will fly the door open this time and not get visual confirmation. Um, you know what? We're going back to Overwatch. Uh, you can come yes, up sir. here. Oh, there's a big dumpster there. That I did not notice that dumpster, so that makes that character kind of worthless for the time being. And then we'll bring up our... Uh, we'll bring Kaylee up uh, so that... No, oh, that was a fantastic view there. Uh, we'll bring Kaylee up so that she can... Uh, basically, run and gun is really our goal here. Uh, the ability to move, see what's there, run and gun, and then... Uh, press on the attack is exactly what we're going for. So, unfortunately, it does not look like I can quite get to the point where I would want to see way. people, so... Okay, so it's not going to be on this turn. It'll be on the next turn. Uh, that'll just give us an opportunity to set up a little bit more. And then, um, you know, prepare. There's always a benefit. And this is what happens when you are the sole sectoid left on a map. Just kind of bide your time until I can hunt you down like the alien dog that you are. Uh, so we're going to make the assumption that that sectoid is back here. Uh, so yeah, first things first, let's move to a place that is not dashing. So we can see where he is. Okay, you're going to take your shot probably? Oh, I only have four health. Oh, that was close! Don't panic, please. I completely <laughs> neglected her health. I'm not even going to need the run 100% to hit. Goodbye, Mr. Sectoid. All right, fantastic end of the mission. Uh, we have not lost anybody yet. Collected all of the meld. And have, you know, killed lots and lots of aliens. 
that number is only going to climb. I think we'll do probably one more mission given the time and then uh, call this one uh, a video as well. Okay, so now we have the ability to make the officer training school, which is fantastic. <clears throat> Uh, because <laughs> the biggest uh, biggest thing we care about that in, is the squad size upgrade. So we're definitely going to prioritize that along with all the rest of our priorities. And uh, Shepherd Book is uh, gets the ability to move up. So we get Sprinter, allows the soldier to move three additional tiles. Or Covering Fire allows reaction shots to trigger on enemy attacks, not just movement. I think extra movement, totally the way better skill in this uh place but who knows you know everybody's got slightly different well this is new everybody's got slightly different strategies so you know everybody adopts their own little thing so okay so this is something new uh that i've seen a little bit um but uh it's basically there are medals that you can award to your uh units and I, i'm not sure exactly what it is that lets you earn these medals but the medals have a, an associated bonus with them so it's kind of like just a you know, a permanent buff that you can get to give to your different uh, members. So it looks like a couple of new medals are available. Uh, and it said to check them out in the barracks, so we'll definitely go do that. Yeah, panic has increased in, uh, in both South America and Africa. Remember, Not great. Let's take a look at what the panic watching. looks like real quick. Commander. Okay, like South America is not too bad. Medals for accomplishments you deem appropriate. You can view and award medals in the barracks. All right, so we can do stuff in the barracks. So let's take a look at those medals, new stuff. Uh, two new medals, the Urban Combat Badge and the International Service Cross. Uh, what do they do? Oh, you can rename it. That's fantastic. Um, so... I, yeah, I guess. Uh, you must assign this ability before you can award it. To, so, okay, so let's pick a power for it. Uh, it gives us pl either plus defense when in cover or plus five aim against enemies in full cover. Well, it's a given that we're going to be shooting a lot. It is not always a given that we'll be, be shot at, so I'm going to use that uh, rationale to pick that. And, of course, we have to rename it to something, so let's... Um, I who jeez I don't know. Let's call it the Keep Flying Award. F All right, fantastic! And now we can award the medal. Who do we want to give it to? Boy, who do we want to give it to? Uh, you know, aim screams uh, sniper to me. But heavies are also notoriously bad with aim, so maybe a. a a uh, benefit to that might be worthwhile. Um, yeah, I think I think we're gonna give it to Wash. Yeah, aim is not so important for assault, so we're, yeah, we'll we'll totally give it to Wash. All right, it's permanent. Looking good, Wash. Keep flying. Leaf on the wind. Actually, Leaf on the wind is a fantastic name for another uh, another medal. So I think we'll do that here. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, we will call it the Leaf on the Wind Metal Cross. We'll we'll keep the we'll keep the, the original cross there. Why not? And let's assign a power to this. Plus two will per different nationality in the squad. I I'll be honest, I will not pay any attention to that, so I don't know that's kind of like an uh uh whew. Or plus two aim per continent bonus. Well, okay, I have no idea how much I'm going to pay attention to nationality in the squad, and I know that I'm going to try and earn as many continent XCOM bonuses as possible, so that seems like the the better selection for me, I guess. So let's award this, plus two uh, aim. Uh, you know what? We're, what the hell? We will make Wash a super soldier. And it is fitting that he gets the leaf on the... On, the wind uh, cross so yeah totally makes sense to me does it make sense to you i don't know i can't speak to your uh, belief structure so 
Anyway, so let's see here. Uh, what do we still have? Still having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Still nothing to sell. Or nothing to sell at this particular... Shut up, Dr. Valen. No one cares. And you're distracting the piss out of me. That we haven't established yet. Uh, still doing weapon fragments and building a cybernetics lab. Not a lot we can do right now. Uh, I have to imagine that the council mission is going to come along shortly. I think that happens in the first month, doesn't it? How much money do I have? Not enough money to worry about another satellite yet. And we're only six days away from our current satellite, which we'll likely wait until the very tail end of the month to determine where to drop. Um, okay, so research is complete. Weapon fragments. Fiend. Uh, and now we can build a scope, and we will probably do that. Um, let's see here. We can do xenobiology. Which is evidently a priority. Alien nav computer. Which is sensationally slow and we don't have the resources for. Beam weapons. 34 days. Wow, that takes a long time. So I don't think that that's necessarily in our uh, future. Uh, alien materials just awards carapace armor. Um, I mean, and then it goes down other paths, obviously. But uh, I think we're going to go for the the priority just so we can start prog uh, progressing the, the main story. Why not? And let's see if we can build a couple scopes here. 15 a pop. Um, wait a minute. What do we need in order to build officer training school? $125. Yeesh. And 3 power. Which we obviously have for the moment. Um... Yeah, okay, I think I think we just buy a couple of scopes for short-term gain. Uh, does it make sense? One or two? I like the grenades of the heavy and assault support. Uh, it has the med kit. So maybe it just makes sense to buy one at this point in time for our sniper. And then maybe we can, uh, maybe we can do more of that down the road. I think that's the right idea. So, okay, we'll see what's up next, and this will probably be the last mission of this video, uh, and then probably the last mission of this session today, too, so it might be a, you know, a couple of days before, uh, might be a couple of days before we, uh, you know, put some more of these out, because this is the weekend of the PS4 launch, so that's pretty exciting for me. I'm actually going to hold off on launching the satellite. I kind of want to do it right prior to the end of the month, uh, and there's nothing in the red right now, so... We're pretty good. We're pretty good. Oh, I should view the soldiers that I have here. Um, oh, this was the support that I picked up for being uh, or for finishing that mission. So it must be the sergeant that unlocks officer training school uh, for build. Um, so he's got smoke grenade, obviously. More movement, and I love the fact that he can uh, have three med kits. So definitely going to do that. That's it's kind of a given for my style of support play. And, of course, this can be uh, Sean Mayer, otherwise known as Dr. Simon Tam. Oops. And he's actually the first one that can take a nickname, so we will, uh, of course, call him Simon. I have an overabundance of supports. I'm a supportive group, evidently. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to... Oops. What am I doing here? Floundering. Continue to scan for activity. Oh, I'll kick up the volume on this one. Okay, that was not nearly as long or as drawn out as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I don't think... I'm just double checking this. For mech trooper augmentation, sacrifice much, but they do not leave themselves entirely behind. A mech trooper will be able to apply some of the training and knowledge from his or her previous combat specialty to the cybersuit's operation. So it sounds like you cease to be whatever you were before, which is interesting. Let's take a look at this. We'll be able to build mechanized exoskeletal cybersuits, or mechs and implant our soldiers with the cybernetic interfaces they'll need to deploy these mechs onto the battlefield. 
Okay, so well, I'm not going to I'm not going to send my sergeant in there. He's the biggest one that I have. You know what? I have an overabundance of supports and you know, Summer Glau kind of kicks ass. So, I think we'll do that. Bonus support ability. Wait a minute. Is that a class thing? That must be a class thing. Oops. Of course I pick another support. Yeah, okay. That totally is a class specific uh, uh, thing. So, bonus support ability, distortion field, nearby allies in cover receive plus 10 defense. Warning, the selected soldier will change class to mech trooper. This process is irreversible. Okay, so, yeah, that's fine. You can be an ass kicker. <laughs> Why not? We'll consult with Dr. Valen for the requisite amputations and begin installing the cybersuit interfaces as soon as possible. So it looks like it's going to be three days before she's uh, able to be used as a super soldier. Um, I, I guess we'll see what happens if we see run into anything in that point in time. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops. So oh, we can yeah, this is enemy things. unknown stuff. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. So now we have our new objective that pushes us forward. All of this stuff that we need to do, uh, not a big deal. Alien containment available for construction. That's needed for autopsies, interrogations. I don't remember. Uh, secure environment to house alien captives. Yeah, interrogate. Yes. So yeah, that's uh, needed for interrogation. Um, oh my god, 12 days to autopsy a sectoid, that's ridiculous. Oh boy, not a lot of choices here that are relatively quick. So yeah, I guess... I guess we go after Arc Thrower in this? I don't remember what experimental warfare is. I think that's the thing that leads to, like, shivs and stuff like that, which I largely don't use, so I'm, I'll, I'll just go after the Arc Thrower for now. Why not? <clears throat> Funny that I don't use, like, shivs at all, and yet all I want is mechanized troopers. But hey, what can you do? So next thing should be the augmentation. We'll see if there's any cutscene associated with that. The cybernetic interfaces are holding stable, but they're of no use without a cybersuit to interface with. I suggest we manufacture one immediately. When our new mech trooper equips that suit, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with its capabilities. Well, that is pretty awesome. You can now assign new mech trooper class training and equip a soldier with a mech suit. Go to mech inventory. Keys to mech deployment. Mechs are powerful armored suits with extra tactical abilities. No, rule number one, only mech troopers. Uh, soldiers augmented in the cybernetics lab may equip mechs in battle. Okay, derp. And rule number two, the mech has three tech levels. Research is required to gain access to mech upgrades. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. And I don't have the money to do that. That's ridiculous. Uh, the, okay, I'm selling something. Because that is absolutely just ridiculous. What can we sell? Alien alloys. I don't want to... Oh, my gosh. Look at all these sectoid corpses. We totally don't need all of those. I think all I needed was 25, right? Engineering. Build upgrade Mac. Build new Mac. Build cost twenty five forty. Perfect. What are our what are our choices here? Okay, flamethrower. Ooh, allows the mech to lay waste to a cone shaped area. Flame can spill outside the aiming area. Interesting. And kinetic strike module, a powerful arm upgrade for the mech, allowing the wielder to pulverize adjacent cover and enemies. Also boosts mobility. Hmm. The mobility boost is really intriguing to me there. Although standing right next to somebody, not always. Flamethrower sounds like it could be pretty wicked fun. But I also have no idea what that does for damage. 
or if that even has any effect on like the robotic units later on i i don't know i think we're just going to go with the movement for now confirm fabrication of the mech one warden selected tactical subsystem kinetic strike module sure interesting new mech is ready for deployment go to the barracks select a mech trooper we'll do that so i'm wondering if i build a new mech could i build oh totally Okay, so these are just independent items that I have. It's almost like a lo it appears like it's like a loadout the same way that you could swap in a different weapon. So there's absolutely nothing other than my meld, perhaps, that keeps me from also trying the flamethrower one. That's pretty cool. That means that you have a, if you have you know one or two humans set up as mech troopers, then they theoretically could swap in and out different uh, or varying you know degrees of of you know what you want in terms of abilities so that's kind of cool variable goodness uh so let's let's totally hook this up oh and okay so she's definitely a mech trooper class now and it looks like they get their own ability tree new training training collateral damage area effect attack that destroys most cover and hits all eligible targets for 34 percent damage cannot cause critical hits destroys most cover that's okay so that's just sounds like it's a it's an extra ability that's kind of impressive wow okay <clears throat> that is <clears throat> excuse me that is pretty impressive so now loadout yep it is totally just a different inventory item <laughs> yeah this is gonna be badass here we go oh <laughs> provide a decisive advantage in close quarters and remove the benefit of cover from our enemies. <laughs> and a minigun! Oh, this is just precious. Oh, this is absolutely fantastic. And you know what? I think this might actually be where we're going to end the video. I know you guys want to see this thing in action, but hopefully that gives you uh, incentive to come and check out the next one. Remember, you can always find us out on Twitch when uh, these aren't YouTube exclusive like this one, which most of them will not be. Um, you can definitely come and follow us there, twitch.tv slash gamersonlyolder. Check us out there. Follow us there so you know the minute that we're streaming this stuff live. And, of course, if you like the video, want to see more content, want to get it to more people, then do a like and subscribe uh, on YouTube. And let me tell you, I gotta say I'm a little bit wet right now. But that's fitting considering that this is the Virgin series of XCOM Enemy Within. With that, we will see you next time.